All right, man. So look, <laughs> bro, this has to be the one of the most delusional videos I've ever watched in my life. Okay. Now I seen parts of this video and I was like, bro, I got to show y'all this. This is crazy. Okay. This is crazy that people actually think like this, but I need y'all do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG without further ado. <laughs> Let's get to this video, man. Tonight, there's fallout from Houston's first ever gun buyback event. Over the weekend, more than 800 firearms were turned over to the city in just hours. But one picture is gaining a Wait, I want to I wanna say this too, okay? It's a lot of parts in the video that's just messed up, okay? The first half, messed up. It was another part I seen. Delusional, okay? There's a lot of things messed up in this video, so just enjoy. A lot of attention on social media where one person exchanged dozens of 3D printed guns for thousands of dollars. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf is looking into it for us tonight. Matthew, what have you found? Well, Tom, overall, the mayor says the event was a success, but he says the city won't be buying any more 3D printed guns. New backlash from Houston's first gun buyback event. One person selling the city dozens of 3D printed firearms known. Number one, okay, I, I, when I seen the picture, okay, I'm gonna just show you how the picture. Look, this is the As picture. ghost guns. You're going to exclude those the next time around. Using online research, we found the man claiming to have sold 62 ghost guns to the city Saturday, each in exchange. So you telling me that y'all don't know the difference between a real gun and a ghost gun. A gun that was made from a 3D printer and an actual firearm. That's, that's what's blowing my mind right now. The fact that y'all really didn't know the difference. This man just came up on, I think it was $2,900. And it was another person who did it in New York who came up on 25000 So these people coming up, I was just selling y'all fake guns. And y'all don't know the difference. That's how delusion. Y'all don't know the difference. This is crazy, bro. Change for Visa gift cards. The man sharing this photo of the fire. You t do that. That don't even look like real guns. That that's what's, so, that's what's bothering me. That doesn't even look like real guns, bro. You telling me? I'll let this man come in here and sell y'all all of them guns. This is this is ridiculous. But did firearms known as ghost guns? You're going to exclude those the next time around. Using online research, we found the man claiming to have sold 62 ghost guns to the city Saturday, each in exchange for Visa gift cards. The man sharing this photo of the firearms he says he made using a 3D printer, exclusively telling Fox 26 the goal was not personal profit, but to send Houston leaders a message about spending one million tax dollars on something that has no evidence of any effect on crime. You'll always have uh, people who will try to take advantage of, of programs. And I was there when that person brought in those guns. The reason why we decided to go ahead on and do that is because we had not said we were not going to. So far this year in Houston, there have been 274 reported homicides, up from 263 this day last year. Six months ago, Mayor Sylvester Turner announced a $53 million federally funded crime prevention plan called One Safe Houston, setting aside $1 million for gun buyback events. Really expecting the criminals to turn in their guns at these buybacks? Yes. Yeah, I do. 50 bucks? Yeah, because, uh, you know, for them... He expect criminals, okay, he expect criminals to turn in their gun for $50. This, this, this mayor has to be delusional, bro. Oh, my gosh, he has to be. How, how do you sit here and expect a criminal to turn in a freaking firearm for $50? And then you say the event was successful. Bro, it, no, it was not successful. I, nobody sell, nobody's turning in no freaking gun for y'all to destroy because that's what these gun buyback events, whatever it is, is literally they, you sell them a gun, and what they do with the guns is they destroy the guns. They don't go, they don't go donate it to nowhere. They don't do none of that. They destroy the guns. Okay, so you telling me a criminal, you think a criminal is going to give you his gun for fifty dollars? I don't even think a three-year-old thinks like that. Seriously, you have to be freaking deluded. And then the fact that this man really got up on you, like he really outsmarted y'all. That's what makes it so hilarious is that y'all let a random citizen outsmart y'all. It's so funny when 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 y'all get outsmarted. Like, I'm just confused. Don't guns don't even look like real guns, bro. Now, I've seen if it was like a BB gun that actually looked like a real gun. But, bro, 
those are literally 3D printed guns, and you can tell that they was 3D printed. They look like toy guns, bro. These people is like, I swear. I never met so I never met a person who was so delusional, bro. You know, at that point in time, they may need fifty dollars for whatever reason. They may need fifty dollars for whatever reason, bro. It's a criminal. He got fifty dollars. Okay, I'm pretty sure that man got fifty dollars. Talking about he might need fifty dollars for whatever reason, bro. Do you know? Do you not know how expensive things is? The only thing you can get for fifty dollars is a bag of chips, literally. I mean, everything is so expensive, bro. You can't even go grocery shopping with $50. Your toy go come out to almost 100 So I'm just kind of confused on what is $50 going to do for you in today's day and age. Our gas prices through the roof. That's not even gas money. That's that's a half a tank for me. So I'm just, <laughs> you feel me? $50 to have a tank living out in Chicago. Gas for 87 I'm just confused. Confused. Used. And you can't be you can't be serious. This has to be a joke. You have to be kidding me, bruh. <laughs> Criminals don't always think things through. The man No, you don't always think things through. It's it, it's not even common that's not even common sense, bro. You don't always think things through. You really think a criminal finna sell you his gun. Yeah, man, I swear. yeah because uh you know for them, you know, at that point in time they may need fifty dollars for whatever reason. Criminals don't always think things through. The man we messaged with claims each gun cost him about $3 to make. He sold 62 to the city for $50 each, profiting about $2,900. The man... He just made some, he just made some people monthly, monthly income of selling guns that he made for $3. Uh, and says he now has three goals have the city pay fair prices for firearms use private donations rather than tax dollars and don't destroy historic guns there needs to be state and federal laws to ban people from producing these ghost guns more than 840 firearms turned over to the city saturday for gift cards between 50 and 200 dollars Okay, hold on. I know, I know, I did not just see what Sing I just these ghost guns. More than eight hundred. Now who in now who in the hell sold those? <laughs> who sold those little guns? You gotta be joking me. You you has to you have to be getting. Y'all taking any and every in every gun. I could sell y'all all my BB guns. I could sell y'all my Nerf guns, and I will come up off some money. This is how stupid the government is. I I can literally sell y'all. Everything in it, I can sell y'all all the fake guns possible. And y'all go get me $50 for each gun. Y'all smart. That, that's smart thinking. Y'all making us come up off some, off some checks. Have them more often. I promise you. I'm going to sell y'all the Nerf guns. I'm going to sell y'all my BB guns. I might even sell my water guns. And I love my water guns. So, hey, <laughs> let me know when these little gun buyback, whatever it's called. The gun buyback events. Let me know when that's happening, okay? Because I'm selling y'all every gun that's not real. Since y'all so stupid enough to feel like, oh, well, it's a gun and it's, it's stopping the crime on the streets. <laughs> 140 firearms turned over to the city Saturday for gift cards between $50 and $200. And tonight, the mayor tells me they're planning two more of these buyback events. We're live in Houston tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. Y'all having more buyback events? Did y'all not learn y'all freaking lesson? Seriously, did you not learn your lesson? Dog, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. This is probably the dumbest video. Not, I wouldn't say the dumbest video I ever watched, but this is up there, okay? It's up there with the dumbest videos. This mayor is super delusional. I, I mean, I, I'm just thinking about it. You say you want criminals to turn in their firearm. Do you really think that a criminal when there's a hundred, when there's a hundred police officers around, do you really think a criminal want his face to be seen with a hundred police officers around to turn in a gun that he got illegally? You Negroes don't make sense. Uh, seriously, y'all do not make sense. I mean, bro, it, it, it don't make sense at all. Honestly, I'm just, oh jeez. Okay, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comment section below. Um. This is honestly ridiculous. I seriously ridiculous. I never thought that I would see a mayor be this delusional. I mean, we already got Lori Lightheaded 
she already delusional as it is. I didn't think it was two of them. Okay, I didn't think it was two Lori Lightheads. It's ridiculous. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all. These little gun buyback events, bro, it's stupid. No criminal ain't turning their gun for no two hundred dollars, no four, fifty dollars. They might turn it in for about two thousand. I say about three, four thousand. Yeah, they might turn in for that, but come on, man, y'all making too much money, and y'all set aside one million dollars for these stupid events. Y'all could have, y'all could have given this money back to people that were. I bet, I bet if you would have gave, I bet if you would have gave like to how much money y'all making in the states. I bet you if you would have gave like two hundred k a piece to everybody for turning in a gun. Oh boy, that line would have been out the door. Two hundred k, but I, I, I look, you hear me. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.